What's going on everyone? This is the rules here. Drink some cold 45 malt liquor specifically for Raka Russo. And this video is brought to you by my new hoodie. I just got this hoodie in Old Navy for Black Friday. I got it, I believe, Sunday, I think. God damn it, it's so hard to open. I'm gonna use my hoodie to open it. God damn it. <clears throat> Motherfucker. Damn, this is crazy. It's like... Then it will not open it. Wow, it's like the best malt liquor video I ever done in my life. I put some cream on my hands. You see this shit, by the way. This is Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Lotion. I need it because my hands are all fucked up from working at FedEx. Washing dishes and shit. Here we go. If I cannot open it with my hand, I open it with my teeth. That's the Russian way for you motherfuckers. Malt liquor. <sighs> Fucking delicious. Specifically for you, my friend Ral Caruso. Big shout outs to Apostle Doomer. The guy is really smart, he knows what he's talking about. Now, Rob Bennett, you fucking idiot, fuck you Rob Bennett, malt liquor. Live guy 2564, I respect your idea of not drinking, I don't drink in that much myself. Like I said, I want to get 24 on the video. But I got a 40. Raka Russo. You think my ideas are crazy? Well, because I drink cold 45. Well, I know how you are, my friend. You will react a lot. And you don't know a lot of things. You've just been brainwashed by all of this propaganda in the United States. But I'm, I just know how it is. And if you have any other way on how to improve American economy, let me know. But I still stand by what I said. When it comes to American mentality test, I still stand by that as well. I understand though that I would be the one who wouldn't pass the test. But I still think that that idea about American mentality test and reduce immigration is a good idea. I know I will never become ever in my life a president of the United States just because of the fact that I was not born in the United States. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I know because I have different mentality, I'm not going to be able to get along with most of the Americans and I find my peace with it. I'm just here working, making money, and drinking malt liquor, having fun and getting pussy. That's it. That's why I'm here. And this is my fetish, Raka Russo. Humiliation and degradation. I want to be stupid. Therefore, I'm drinking cold 45. That makes me retarded. Because I want to be like Todd. So I can make views. Malt liquor. Since in this life, 
I realize that in order for me to make more views, drinking malt liquor, I have to be like that. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's ever gonna happen, but hey, that's my fucking cold 45 fetish. Specifically for Aka Russo. I saw old English in the store. And I decided not to buy it because I don't want to plastic the mold. This was the last photo of Cold 45. I grabbed from the shelf. Tastes delicious. What are my plans? After I drink a 40, I'm about to pass out. Like 5 o'clock, around 5, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna get my 3 hours of sleep. I'm gonna wake up. Go to martial arts, go back to bed. That's my plan for tonight. And then tomorrow morning the same routine. FedEx, nursing home, and bed. I'm gonna see my girlfriend too, tomorrow. You know, it's difficult to work like from 4.30 in the morning till like 8 p.m. Even though I'm getting 6-7 hours of sleep every day, sometimes I feel still a little tired. Especially like after midday, I want to like close my eyes. So I'm about to pass out. Once I'm done making this video, I'm going to pass the fuck out. We're working all day tomorrow, all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday. Then Sunday I will work a little bit. Hanukkah is gonna start, and then next Friday is my fucking birthday. Next Friday I will be 29 years old. One more year I will be 30. Speaking of 30, I met Todd, I was 22 and he was 30 years old. Year from now, I will be the same age as Todd was when I met him. And he will be like 38 years old. Time flies. It's like almost a decade. I've been on YouTube, well, seven years, going to be six and a half, almost seven. But it's almost like two-thirds of the way there. So it's soon it's gonna be a decade since I've been making Mount Lika videos and since I've known Todd and since I've been on YouTube. And I never stop doing what I'm doing. I never change Mount Lika. Well, I will should say take it back. I don't drink as much as I used to. And I drink slower, but I'm still on YouTube. And I will be on YouTube. Unless YouTube will close, be, get closed up, because that's my hobby. Also, I know I'm going to get a check. I'm going to deduct the swatches on my taxes. So, but I don't know if I should even put it on my taxes anyway, because I get so fucking little. I believe it was Mason Holt or some guy right there said that I make only $10 a year. Guess what? 
you're wrong, I make a little bit more than that, but I don't make much. I already got four paychecks from YouTube. And I've been making money off of YouTube since April 12th of 2011. So it's been like four and a half years. Since that time, I got four paycheck. So total amount of money I got is about like 440 bucks, give or take. And now I'm like halfway through on my fifth paycheck. It's almost 500 bucks I earned in less than five years. So on average, I'm making about what how many dollars a month it's like a kind of ten dollars a year like about nine dollars a month on average but right now monthly i'm making like let's say ten dollars a month that's what i'm making at a year a month but right now I'm probably making like ten dollars every like month and a half or two months and i make probably about at least like 60 bucks a year in old days, I used to make 100 bucks a year. So that's the real thing. You want to know how much I really make, and that's the real figures for you right there. They're not exact, but about that. So if you really want to know, that's the answer for you. And usually I don't get a lot of views off of my videos, but... I have like about 50 videos which have like more than a thousand views. I have some videos of the song of Twister. One of them got almost 200,000 views. And then video with me and Todd, 110,000 views. It's about breastfeeding video. And then uh, being Russian, America sucks, 22.6 thousand views. And then I have 38,000 views video about 11 year old boy which was raped Miss video response to Mr. Rebzion so I got some videos with decent fucking amount of views but you're right not all my videos are that popular most of my videos are getting less than 100 views a day maybe like 30, 40, 50 views a day But where is it though? It's not everything is not the same, you know. I think it's not the same. Shout out to all my subscribers. There is another video I want to do later on. But that, not gonna be a drinking video, of course, but, you know, I'm not all about drinking. Like, sometimes I drink, sometimes I don't. You know how I rule. You know how I roll. I just do all kinds of shit. And I know there are a lot of people, like some of my subscribers, they don't even respect of me, the fact that I'm drinking. Like, I know there are some people who think that I shouldn't be drinking. That I'm an idiot for doing that. But I don't know. Sometimes I do it for people like Rakarusa to piss them off. Why do I want to piss you off, dear Rakarusa? Because sometimes you just act stupid. But it's just my opinion. Why? Well... One thing I think that the guy is confused because he likes Zionism and Brother Nathaniel at the same time. So that's kind of confusing. So he likes the Jews, but at the same time he, he called the anti-Semites a fucking genius. He said he doesn't agree with everything he says, but he agrees with something. Which is to me like that's kind of weird. Like how can you like Brother Nathaniel? And be pro-Israel. That's weird. Like, you know, this guy Raka Russo have some kind of interesting views. And then he thinks that, you know, my ideas about like killing the parasites are crazy. 
but I don't know I just don't see any other way around really because we really need to take care of the fucking budget deficit to make sure that Americans are not in fucking debt and they are not parasiting on everybody else you know make sure that Americans you know paying their shit and not being castles who just keep borrowing money keep living well not taking care of anything and just like not giving money back because that's fucking parasitic behavior not to give money back and that's pretty fucked up if you ask me and also what is also fucked up is that we're feeding fucking subhumans I do think that we should send out all the people on welfare if you're not gonna kill them you should send them outside of the United States that's for fucking sure all this fucking maybe not six percent quite you know I understand you know if people are disabled you have to let them work you know all of that I would keep that of course but if people are fucking parasites they can work but they cannot find the job they're on drugs or whatever these people are fucking cancer on the society we need to strip them out get rid of them don't have to kill them you can send them to fucking Iraq, like I said, or Iran to fight ISIS. Or we can just, I don't know, just ship them out anywhere. Let them find the asylum abroad. I don't give a fuck about the subhumans anyway. Those fucking people who trashing the country. Fuck them all. That's my honest opinion. Take it or leave it. That's just one of the ways. I just don't see any other way. But if you know any other way, dear Raka Russo, go ahead. So that's all I can tell you. Rob Bennett, when I, he was talking about me being narcissistic and shitty friend, I shut him up so well. He can't even tell me anything. 